I'm here with Nate Quarry with his new comic. Did you check? Not new, actually. This is on for a while. Tell us about this stuff, please. Zombie Cage Fighter is a biographical horror story of my life. This is basically what I've been through, seen and done as a fighter and as a father. I was a fighter in the UFC for seven years, was on the first season of The Ultimate Fighter, and everybody was bugging me to write a biography, but I didn't want to do the usual Rocky story. It's been done to death. I'm sure Marky Mark is going to do another Rocky movie next year. I know Sylvester Sloan's doing Creed now, which it sounds amazing to me. That's good. But I wanted to tell my story with some flavor because I'm an old school nerd. And I was I grew up this skinny, scrawny kid with big, thick glasses, buying my comic books at 7-Eleven every day on the way home from school. So what I wrote was what I've been through, seen and done as a fighter and as a father, and then I threw in zombies. So a zombie cage fighter was born. I like that. So are zombies like one of your favorite kind of monsters, or is that just what you want to start with? Not really. It was... And everybody always asks me, what's your favorite zombie movie? And for the longest time, I really didn't have one. Because I found that they were all so just the same old stuff. Just all action, just all... There was no character development. You never really cared about the people. And with Zombie Cage Fighter, yeah, it's got zombies in it. Yeah, it's got MMA in it. But what it really is about is a father trying to take care of his little girl to make sure that she doesn't follow the same path that he has. And I think that's a story that all parents can relate to. Because I know for me, my, my daughter's 15 now, and I tell her all the time, I fight so you don't have to. I went through all of this to provide you the better life that I never had. I don't ever want her to have to fight in a cage for food money. That's what Zombie Cage Fighter is all about. So it's not just, it's not even just a parent, that sounds like a hero to me. That's well, I think that's what all parents should strive to be. To try and really, and it's, it's such a difficult job being a parent because you, you need to raise them with strength and confidence, but not too much confidence. And you got to make sure they work for stuff, but not work too hard. So you want to give them stuff, but don't give them too much. So that's it's a, a fine line. Yeah, that, it cool. is. And then my little girl, as I call her, she's 15, 5'4 now. So she's not little anymore, but to me, she'll always be little. And that's what I'm always struggling with to make sure that I provide her the example. And what she said to me not too long ago, she goes, Dad, you and Batman are my role models. I was like, All right, I think I'm doing okay then. Yeah, that sounds right on track to anyone should really strive for it. But go into a little more detail though about what's coming up next for you. Can you tell me a little about it? I want to make sure everyone else knows. Oh, you got it. So in 2012, what, well, back at Square Zero, so I started off with this screenplay that I had written, Zombie Cage Fighter. And for me, it was just a story that I wanted to tell and I put in elements of my own life, things that I'd been through. It is a biographical story of my life with zombies. And so I wanted to see if anyone else was interested in this. So in 2012, I launched issue zero of the comic book of Zombie Cage Fighter, which was really just kind of a snapshot into the world of what Zombie Cage Fighter is. And I wanted to see, is anyone else interested in this besides me? And it turned out that, yeah, everybody that read the story had the same complaint. When's the next issue coming out? So everybody, if you go to zombiecagefighter.com, you can get a free PDF of this comic. And you'll be on the mailing list, so as the new issues come out, you'll be aware. But so now what I've done is I've taken that screenplay and I've reverse engineered it now into a six issue miniseries. And I've gotten so lucky with the team I've been able to bring together. Jamie Rich, who now works as one of the heads at Vertigo Comics, helped me sit down and actually script out the series doing 90% of the work. And then the artists that I've been working with and this cover artist, Alex Horley, this is an actual oil painting that he did for the first issue of Zombie Cage Fighter. And so he, this is the reason I came over in the first place. This is amazing to me. I, just, I saw this, could not get enough. The artist told me, he's like, oh, I'd love to do a cover for you. And I was like, I would too. That would be amazing. You know, I, I don't have five grand or whatever we cost for an oil painting of this caliber. And he looks at me and goes, I believe in what you're doing. I want to be a part of this. So he did this for me. And it just, it's one of those things that brings tears to my eyes to see how when you really have a passion for something and people get behind it and they want to be a part of that journey too. So now I have this incredible team that have come together, but they're also really slow. And so after you know, 2012, three years later, people are asking me the same question every show I go to, when's the next issue coming out? So I decided eventually it's going to be a full six issue miniseries that's going to be in the comic book stores around the country, around the world, that's my plan. Until that time, every show that I do, I'm going to do a small print run just for that show. So for this show, this comic, you have this comic show's actual logo here. I printed out 110 copies of this. 
just for this show. Once they're gone, they're gone. It's never, so this is going to be a collectible ash can edition. You can see it's smaller than a normal comic. These are the, a throwback to the ash can editions when guys were just kind of starting to ramp things up. And so I said, every issue that we get done, I'm gonna do just a small printing until I get ready for the whole six issue series. And then we're gonna blow it out. So I don't even have those available on the website. Oh, wow. If you're nice enough, you can go to the website and message me and maybe I'll let you buy one. It's a maybe. Hold but on. dude, I'm one of those guys that's like, if I don't sell any, I'm cool because I love it so much. I'm so happy to have them. Yeah. So out of the 110 that I printed, I kept five for myself. Very nice. Yeah. So there's 105 that's available for the public. That is awesome. All right. Be sure to check that out. What was the uh, dot com again, please? Zombiecagefighter.com. Zombiecagefighter.com. Get up the website. It's got all the shirts. It's got the comics there. It's, and for me, this is just passion. Every shirt that I sell, I just reinvest that money right back into Zombie Cage Fighter. You can see by the shirts, I've been so lucky to get these phenomenal artists to work with. And even the surfing shirts. That is the artist that when I was a kid, I wore his shirts around from TNC Surf. Now he's back making shirts for me for Zombie Cage Fighter. It's one of those things where it's, I can't believe how lucky I've gotten. That is incredible. That is very awesome. I appreciate your time. Thank and, uh, you. My pleasure. Can't wait to see more. Thank you.